Hi, and welcome to Export Kit. I'm very excited to demonstrate our new panel for Adobe XD, which is packed with a lot of features and functionality that will help your creativity explode in essence. So let's just jump right in. What we have are a few different panels within our panel. We have our layers, our images, our customize, and our exports. Now I'll go over each of these uh, most likely in individual videos, but we're going to focus on layers uh, for this particular video. So layers panel is designed that what will happen is when you're clicking throughout your project, it will actually render each individual layer item as the chosen environment. And there are many environments to choose from, and you'll see a list of them here. Uh, once you've selected your environment, you're going to get the code within your code view, and this will change depending on the actual layer type that you've selected. So uh, for instance, uh, text will give you your font information, your style information, uh, while shapes may give you your size and your corners and uh, in essence images will give you an image link. Uh, now there are a lot of features within the actual code views that you can take advantage of and Export Kit will do its best to render all the XD information relevant to that particular code environment. So let's go ahead and let's actually take a look at a couple different uh, views that we have just so we can see how they work. So once we select our layer view, you'll see that we can actually now render our individual XD layers in virtually any environment uh, that we choose, and it will reflect the code based on the actual XD layer. So let's go ahead and let's test a couple uh, different code environments. Let's assume we wanted less. You can see we have all our mix-ins along with our actual content for our less code. And this will change specifically based on the environment that you select. So the information within the code view will be reflective of that environment, particularly JavaScript in this case. Let's take a look in XML per se. You see all the properties are mapped. Let's get a bit more intricate. Uh, let's go Silverlight. And let's change it to Android. Once more, let's go Swift. Okay, so you'll see, so there are a lot of options to choose from when selecting your code environment. Now, we do have a button right beside the code view, which is our refresh button. What this will do is this will prevent the code view from switching when you're actually working on content. So this is very useful to avoid errors, uh, especially when you're creating text layers that will tell you that uh, basically information in the text does not exist. So I'll give you a quick example. So let's just go back to HTML5. So if we have refresh on and we attempt to create a text layer within our artboard, you'll notice that error that came up. And that happened because it couldn't read the name or the text property. So when we press an error, what will happen, or sorry, when we press cancel, is that it will actually load uh, the error message on the export kit server. Now this message sometimes will be generic depending on the error, if it's a simple error. At other times we'll have a lot of information relating to either the layer that it was working with or the actual process as to where it stops. So we always recommend that you check the error that it, it basically generates on the site. So you'll note that when we created the text layer with refresh on, it did generate an error. So a quick way to avoid this is we can actually simply turn refresh off when we're working, but only uh, turn it back on when we're finished and we're actually looking for information. So you'll see here that we can create what we want. And it's fine. And then what we can do is simply turn back on refresh and we'll see exactly what we just made. 
So that's a easy way to avoid an error while you're working. Now, another feature of the plugin uh, with layers panel in particular is that what we can do is we can actually save each individual layer as various image types. So we have here PNG, JPEG, and SVG. Uh, let's just make sure we have an empty folder that we can test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in essence, export a couple of images. So let's begin with uh, this dual calendar. You'll see here that we now have a PNG of that actual calendar. Let's dig deeper in and let's get a PNG of just simply January itself. And let's test a few more things. So let's get a JPEG of eh, this calendar. And let's try an SVG. So you'll see here there's a lot of options that you can work with using Layers Panel uh, alone while you work. Now this is one of the great new features with uh, Export Kit and our new Adobe XD panel. I'm going to explain the images and customizations along with the exports in additional videos, so stay tuned.